Hello everybody and welcome back to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I think in my last video I showed you guys my next book Aries uh, A um, or 8A. Uh, actually that was supposed to be a next book Aries 8, not an 8A. Um, I, that's the one I wanted to get was just the A. Uh, the 8A is actually a brand new tablet out that comes with Android Marshmallow. Uh, right now I am pretty much done. Whoops. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I'm pretty much done with everything I was going to do. But I figured I'd show you guys the process to get twerp recovery and rooted and unencrypted uh, on your tablet. Um, now this only works with uh, Ubuntu or uh, Linux if you guys are using Linux. Uh, it will work in that as well. Um, I'm not sure if there are any Windows um, versions out there. Um, but if you guys do your searches, you know, uh, maybe you might find one. So this is just for uh, Ubuntu. Now, basically what you want to do is you want to go to this site, and I will put the link in the, descrip or in the description, uh, and you want to uh, make sure you read it. You want to make sure that your tablet is the uh, 501 version. It, it's, uh, it's not for the 5 dot or 511 uh, or <laughs> Android uh, 601 like I had. Um, it's, it, it's only going to work on the uh, Aries uh, A version, uh, or the Aries 8-inch tablet, not the Aries A. If you have the Aries A, you have the uh, Marshmallow version. So, um, basically what you want to do is you definitely want to read through this. Um, it's going to, you know, uh, ba remember, do not format your system. We do have to do some formatting to get rid of uh, encryption. Um, which, if you guys have been on my Google Plus community, um, you've read, I think I have a post in there, how to get rid of encryption through Twerp uh, without using, you know, tools and stuff like that. Twerp will do it for you. You just have to know how to do it. Um, basically, guys, uh, what you want to do is you want to download this package right here, okay? Uh, this is actually a link to where you can get the tablet. Um, this is the download link that will take you to... Um, the uh, AFH uh, for download. So no, none of those uh, uh, screwed up download sites where you download um, viruses or, or stupid ass crap. Uh, this is a very good site, guys. I'm going to give you the links to this. Uh, make sure you thank the developer. The guy's awesome. Uh, this is the reason that we have Twerp on here. Uh, he uh, ported Twerp over, uh, and I think he even has a, a custom ROM of his own. Uh, but I, I'm going to make my own ROM. Uh, but uh, thank God that he has twerp uh, and that he uh, has a custom boot image uh, for a non-encrypt. But anyways, you go to this site, click on that, download that uh, file, and then what you want to what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract that file onto a folder on your desktop. All right, I named that uh, net next book root. All right, so you're going to extract that inside here. Now. What I recommend you also do is go back to here, scroll down until you see the updated twerp version to 3.0, 2.0, okay? Download that. Again, it's AFH, so there's no screwing around. Download that, and then once you get that downloaded, that's not, a, uh, that's not in a zip or anything. That's just a, you're downloading an image. Uh, a recovery image. Once you get that downloaded, let me get rid of some of this junk and make this smaller. Uh, take the image that's in here already. You want to go uh, rename and then just go like this. Go copy. So you're copying the name of that. Okay. Now just go ahead and send that to the trash. Once you do that, you want to go into your download folders. And I think I already copied it over. I don't even think I have it in there anymore. Let me go to downloads. Uh, yeah, I already copied that over. But you want to, you're going to want to take that uh, that image file and you're going to want to drag it over. Whoops. You're going to want you're going to want to click on that image file. Say this was the image file and either copy and paste it over here or just grab it and drag it over. All right? Once you've dragged that file over here, you're going to want to click on that file because it's going to say uh, twerp um, 
or Aries twerp version 3020. You don't want it to say that, okay? In order for these commands to work on here, you want it to say this right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click rename, and uh, then you're going to uh, you're going to click paste, which is what you copied earlier from that earlier twerp version that you threw in the bin, okay? So now this is 3020 instead of 28. Uh, I forget which the other, what version the other one was. So now, once we start doing our commands, it's going to know to grab that and put that on your uh, on your tablet. Okay. So, why would you want that? Um, the newest version is going to work with uh, any you know any kind of updates that we may come up with or that the developer may come up with. But it also gives you the option to copy system images, which is going to be awesome if you develop and maybe you want to start making your own uh, ROMs, you're going to need that system image. So, uh, I mean, if, if you guys want, you can stay with the old one, you know, but I recommend going with the 3020. It's an awesome version of Twerp. Uh, once you have that all together, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click on this, you're going to click Open in Terminal, and now you are done with, whoops, now you are done with this. You can go ahead and uh, get rid of it. Because all you need is your terminal and the commands in here. Now, this is going to give you a bunch of different commands. Uh, obviously, of course, you're going to want to go into your tablet. You're going to want it. You're going to want to go into System, um, About Phone. You're going to want to go all the way to the bottom to the build number. Tap on it like seven times until you see you are now a developer. Then go back one and go to Developer Options, and you want to enable ADB debugging. Okay. That's all you need to do. Uh, then plug your uh, tablet into your computer. Uh, you don't have to worry about drivers, uh, Ubuntu or Linux. It's all cool about that. It's going to work. It's got everything it needs to make your tablet uh, go into ADB and push files to it. So plug in your tablet. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put this command in. Okay. Reboot bootloader. So you're going to copy. Click on here. Click paste hit enter now I'm not gonna do all this because I've already done it guys um, and I really don't want to screw anything up on my tablet again but I'm gonna show you guys this now when you click enter your tablet is gonna be ready because your tablet's gonna get a little pop-up if it's the first time you used ADB it's gonna ask if are you sure that you want to allow this computer to use it there's a little checkbox in the bottom left hand corner click always and then click accept then it'll it will boot right into your bootloader mode. Once you're into the bootloader mode, you can you can do a couple different things. Before you do that, though, guys, you want to copy the super user zip onto your external SD card. Okay, that way you have it. Um, I recommend putting uh, twerp on permanently. You don't have to. You can actually uh, use this command here, and that will just boot you into twerp uh, temporary. I recommend installing twerp uh, permanently. And uh, since you're already in the bootloader, you want to grab this command here, copy and paste that command next. What that'll do is that is going to put twerp permanently onto your system. Once that twerp's onto your system, you're going to want to reboot and you're going to want to boot into twerp. And I don't know if I can do it yet. I don't know if it's done. I'm backing up right now. Nope, it's still backing up. But anyways, guys, um... Once you have booted into Twerp, you want to get rid of encryption. If you do, you don't have to, but if you want to get rid of encryption, the first thing you have to do is you have to uh, click on Wipes. Now, at the bottom corner, you're going to see, well, first you're going to see Advanced, and then you're going to see Format. You want to click on Format. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to format your data and your cache. Do not format your system. All right? You just want to format your data and cache. Um, you're going to have to type in YES and then hit go. You're going to see a bunch of red pop up. I don't know why that is, but it does. But it will format your, uh, your data and your cache for you. Once that's done, um, click back, 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 and then just uh, reboot into uh, bootloader right from twerp. Okay? Now, once your uh, tablet, or actually just power off, because you don't have that reboot to bootloader option in twerp, power your tablet off. Uh, once the, ta the tablet's powered off, you want to hit the volume down and bu uh, power button, both at the same time. 
let the tablet, uh, once the tablet starts to flicker to life, let go of the power button, but keep holding the uh, volume down button for about two seconds. Then let go of the volume, let it boot into fast boot mode. Um, when it, it, once it's into fast boot mode, then what you're going to want to do is, uh, to disable encryption, you're going to want to copy this right here. Okay? Uh, here we go. Okay, I'm already done. So, what what I was telling you, uh, if we go back, you you to get rid of encryption, you're going to want to go to wipes, and then you're going you're going to want to go to format data right here. This option right here. Now it's going to tell you that this will remove any encryption on your device. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You just type in yes and hit that check mark. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it. Once it's done. Then you want to go ahead and, I don't know if it'll, oh, this does. If you boot it, if you uh, put this version of Twerp on, you can go ahead and boot right into your bootloader from here. So we're going to go ahead and bootload into, or uh, boot into bootloader. Uh, now, your tablet's going to be connected. Mine's not, but yours is going to be connected. Once it boots into the bootloader mode, which is right there with your tablet connected then you're going to want to copy this right here which is the code that you need to uh, get rid of uh, uh, to keep forced encryption uh, when your tablet boots up from starting to encrypt your phone basically what it's going to do is it's going to put a different kernel in it uh, that doesn't have uh, forced encryption flags in it so you just copy you paste that to here paste and then hit enter that's all there is to it. It'll tell you it's complete, uh, and then it'll say reboot system. Once it's done, get your volume keys, scroll through until you see normal or normal boot, hit enter, and then that'll boot up normally for you guys. I know this isn't a normal video where you see got where you see me plugging it in and showing you. I tried to do that and I was just hitting the walls. But it's really that simple, guys. It's not hard. It's just a couple commands. The biggest part is to download these files right here off of this site, extract it into a folder. Once you extract it into a folder, you, you want to uh, have your arrow here, right click, open terminal here. That's it. And, and then just use these. Uh, commands to do what you want to do with your tablet. That's it. Well, guys, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them, and I will try to answer them for you guys. All right. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.